Hey everyone, how's it going? So, what we'll do now is get this date looking nice because, I mean, look at the state of this date right here. This is not useful to a user. Um, so, what we'll do is change this so that it gives like a relative time, which means like it means it'll show like uh, just now or 10 minutes ago or something like that. So, um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Now, I really hate working with dates and times. It's really, really annoying for me. You have to get the format correct when you want to create objects. Um, you got all the time zone situations to, con to, to consider. Sometimes you get dates in UTC, sometimes they're not. And then you got a question of whether it's in UTC. So you're given a date and you're like, is that UTC or is that a local time? I just don't like working with dates. Um, but we have to do it, of course. It's just one of the things you got to go through. So uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, well, I say we're going to write some code to handle this. We're not going to write it as much as we're going to copy and paste it. What I always do when I want to get this kind of function going is just go to Google and um, just search for uh, just search for it on there and find somewhere which has it. Uh, so go to Google and type in, uh, type in JavaScript uh, date to timestamp ago. So this is something along the lines that I Google. Uh, JavaScript date timestamp. And I always add the ago. So that it tries to give you like a relative time as well. Um, and usually any number of these top links will give you what we're looking for here. This uh, this bit of code or the bit of logic we're looking for here is such a trivial bit of code. Um, it can be found everywhere. So uh, this is why I don't want to write this out manually. I don't think there's really any benefit to us writing this out line by line. Um, we can just go and Google this. It's such a trivial piece of code. So it just gets the milliseconds in a minute, milliseconds in an hour, in a day, in a month, in a year. And then all it does is get the elapsed time. So the difference between two times, and this would be the time that it, the post was posted and the time now. So it basically would get the amount of time that's passed since the post was posted. Uh, and then all it does is just check if that amount of time is less than the milliseconds in a minute. If it is, it was obviously less than a minute ago. So it converts the milliseconds, that's what the elapsed is, uh, two seconds and just shows a go. If it's less than the milliseconds in an hour, it's obviously in the minutes range. So what it does is it just converts it to minutes and just shows minutes ago. So you can see pretty easily what it's doing. It's quite straightforward. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. Now, if for some reason you can't find this, just copy from the, the zip file attached to this lecture. So just download uh, the zip file that we have attached to this lecture, and then you'll be able to copy and paste this code from there. But anyway, I've copied that. I'll go to uh, common.js. Oh, maybe give this guy an upvote if you're logged in. Uh, and then scroll down to here. Just paste that in there. So what we've done is we've now got this time difference function. Now we're going to change a couple of lines in here ever so slightly. So I don't want to show uh, the seconds ago all the time. I think if it's less than 30 seconds ago, I just want to show just now. So what we'll do, um, it's real simple. What we're going to do is just say, uh, if, oops, if elapsed uh, divided by 1000. So this is converting it to seconds. I guess you could put that in its own variable if you wanted to. But it's uh, elapsed is milliseconds. Dividing it by a thousand just gives you the seconds. So basically saying if the seconds is uh, less than 30, we're just going to return um, just now. Okay, and then other than that, we'll just leave the return underneath. So that means that if it doesn't do this, it'll just do this. So if it's less than 30 seconds ago, it will show just now. If it's greater than 30 seconds ago, it will show the amount of seconds, so like 45 seconds or something like that. Um, so that's fine. All the rest can stay the same, except from down here. Uh, we don't want to say approximately um, this amount of days ago. We'll just get rid of the approximately part. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to get rid of the approximately string and just keep math.round days ago. Okay. Obviously, it would be an approximate value, but I'm just looking at how social networks work at the moment. And they always seem to show one day ago, even if it's like a day and a half ago or something like that. So... Um, they all do the same thing as well. Like you never get Facebook showing 1.5 days ago or something. So we're always just going to show X amount of days or X amount of months ago or years ago. Um, of course, you could refine this if you want. Maybe you want to handle some logic where if it's in a certain, if it's like 1.8 days, you'd round up to two days. But um, for now, we're just going to show that amount of days and months ago. So yeah, that's good for us. Let's uh, hook that up. So I'm going to take the name of this function. And I'll scroll up to create post HTML. And we've got this timestamp right here. All we're going to do is call that. So um, I'll replace this. Uh, and I'll just call time difference. And then um, the current, the first parameter is the current time. And that's just going to be uh, oops, new date like this. 
When you create an instance of the date object like this, it uh, gives you the current date. So this is the current date and time right now. And then the other one is going to be the other date we want to compare to, which in our case is just the new date, but then we'll pass in some date and time. And that is just going to be post data dot created uh, created at. OK, so now we should see if I refresh this page. What we're looking for. So 16 hours ago, so I think they were all along those lines. Um, yeah, okay, so it's very clear right now we haven't filtered this correctly yet. They're showing in reverse order, um, but that's okay. But just to show that it works, and it should show just now, if I just make a post, what's up, and click post, we should see just now. Now, of course, like I said, the filtering's wrong, so as soon as I refresh the page, it's going to be right at the bottom of the page, but don't worry, we'll fix that.